Hello friends, let's look at this interesting problem related to applications of trigonometry or heights and distances. We have been given if the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake is alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake is beta. Then find the height of the cloud. So let's first try to draw the picture or the figure so that we can understand. We know that applications of trigonometry we have to draw the figure to understand and solve it in a better way. Okay. If the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake. So I'll first take this one from a point h meters above a lake. So I will say that. That's a lake. Lake will be in blue color. Let us say that's a lake we have there. Okay. And uh, uh, from a point h meters above a lake, that means this is the point we have. Let us say that's a point, and that point is at a distance of h meters from the lake ok and what is the angle of elevation alpha to a cloud so let's go to a cloud we'll try a cloud here that's a cloud we have similarly now what's the angle of elevation we have angle of elevation let us say that's a cloud to the angle of elevation to the cloud is alpha. Okay, little bit I need to move it. Okay, that angle of elevation is alpha and this angle is alpha and we have been given that the angle of depression of its reflection in the lake if the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake is alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection from the same point so we need to again get the reflection of the cloud let us say it will be you know exactly at the same distance so let us say this is where we have the reflection okay it doesn't look exactly the same i will try okay let's say that way something like that okay that's okay now we have two clouds one is the original cloud and other is the reflection and the angle of depression to the reflection is beta so let us say this is the point we have so that's a point we'll say this angle is beta and we also know that that's a straight line we have okay right and we also know angle of elevation is with horizontal line so let's try to say this length is given as h let us say that this length height sorry that's a height let us say this height is equal to h1 
now i'll repeat that what we have done till now if the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake so there is a lake there is a platform from that point somebody is observing the cloud the angle of elevation is alpha now from the same point he is observing the reflection of the cloud in water in the lake and that angle is beta so we have to find out what is the height of the cloud that's nothing but we have to find out what is h plus h1 we know it's a rectangle so h will be height will be from lake to the point where you are observing is h and let us say that the distance bit the height between the point of observation vertical distance between point of observation and the cloud is h1 now what will be this total height in the lake you know that reflection means you should have same thing whatever is above the water same thing will be reflected again so the total height here will be h plus h1 because cloud to lake is h plus h1 so i will have here again h plus h1 that's the total that's a total height we have from the lake to the reflection is h plus h1 okay let's say this is the ground level that's a ground level we have and exactly like that and we have water here I tried my best to show you that it's water so you can ignore that okay this is the problem we have so enough of our my create creativity so let's go back to the problem and try to solve it so very simple the only key point you have to understand is that the dist the vertical distance or the height between the lake and the cloud is nothing but equal to the same as the height between or the vertical distance between the lake and the reflection this point we have to understand okay now we have two triangles here if i go to the first triangle i have tan of alpha tan of alpha is equal to h1 by let us say this is x we have tan of tan alpha equal to h1 by x now similarly what is tan beta tan beta is equal to opposite by adjacent opposite is h plus h plus h1 h plus h plus h1 that is 2h plus h1 divided by opposite by adjacent so that is nothing but equal to x so let's go ahead and write our next step can we say tan beta is equal to 2h by x plus h1 by x but we know h1 by x is tan alpha so can i say tan beta equal to 2h by x plus tan alpha or can i say tan beta minus tan alpha is equal to 2h by x or x equal to x equal to 2h by tan beta minus tan alpha now why are we doing this we are doing this because we have to find out h1 to find out h1 i need to have x now we found out x so we will find out h1 then we will add an h and h1 we will get what is the height 
So let me repeat the steps. You take the top triangle tan alpha equal to h1 by x. You take the triangle angle of depression tan beta equal to 2h plus h1 by x. I can separate them and write 2h by x plus tan alpha or tan beta minus tan alpha is 2h by x or x equal to 2h by tan beta minus tan alpha. Let's go to the next step. Now once we know x we can easily find out h1. h1 equal to x into tan alpha and what is the total height we need to find out? The height of the cloud is nothing but h plus h1. So that is the total height of the cloud we have to find out. We can write down here total height of the cloud. Height of the cloud equal to h plus h1. That's nothing but equal to. We know h value already. So can I say h plus x tan alpha and we know what is value of h so we will simplify that we will say h plus 2h tan alpha divided by tan beta minus tan alpha simplify that your next step will be you can take h common then it will become 1 plus 2 tan alpha by tan beta minus tan alpha. Let's go to the next step after that. So if you take LCM we will have H into the denominator will stay as it is that is tan beta minus tan alpha. In the numerator we will have tan beta minus tan alpha plus 2 tan alpha. If you simplify that we will have that is equal to h into tan beta minus tan alpha plus 2 tan alpha is tan alpha. So can I say h into tan alpha plus tan beta divided by tan beta minus tan alpha. That is how we can find out the height of the cloud. So let me summarize that before we move ahead. If the angle of elevation of a cloud from a point h meters above a lake is alpha and the angle of depression of its reflection is beta, find out the height of the cloud. From the lake the height of the cloud is h plus h1. So in the water till the reflection from the above surface from the water surface to the to the where you see the reflection that is nothing but at the bottom of the lake you will have the distance is h plus h1. So we have h plus h1 h plus h1. So first triangle will give you tan alpha is h1 by x second triangle will give us tan beta equal to 2h plus h1 by x. So we can simplify that and we can find out x value. After that we can find out h1 is x tan alpha we know. So we can find out h1 and add to h because total height of the cloud is nothing but equal to h plus h1 that is h plus x tan alpha. You know the x value. Substitute it. You will get tan h into tan alpha plus tan beta by tan beta minus tan alpha. So what I want you to do you now is take h equal to 60 meter alpha equal to 30 degrees beta equal to 60 degrees. What I want you to try now is try to do this problem with h equal to 60 meter alpha equal to 30 degrees and beta equal to 60 degrees without substituting in this formula try to do step by step like what we did now and try to f verify whether that solution what you got is equal to the sub if you substitute in this formula you should get the same answer that is h into tan alpha plus tan beta by tan beta minus tan alpha and your answer will be 120 meters 
you can cross check that so i'll catch you once again with another interesting example thanks for your time and support bye for now